Welcome to Subterra's demonstration videos for the Organizer add-in for Microsoft's Outlook 2007 and 2010. There are five basic steps to getting started with the add-in. 1. Creating projects and focuses. 2. Processing collection points. 3. Planning or arranging the work. 4. Execution. Doing the right work at the right time. And 5. Tracking a look back. Today, we'll be covering step 2. Processing collection points, specifically the email inbox. As part of our Focus Me for Excellence model, Septera embraces the 5D method for processing email. Do it, delete it, defer it, delegate it, or put it in the drawer. In this video, we'll be covering do it, delete it, and defer it. In subsequent videos, we'll spend time on delegating and saving reference information, what we call putting it in the drawer. Let's talk a bit about the method. In this case, our collection point is the email inbox. The first thing we must do is read the email and clarify the content. We must ask ourselves, is this email requesting action? No. We either delete the email or move it into one of our reference locations, that is, into the drawer. If the email requires action, we clarify what needs to be done in our minds and decide if we can do it now. I like to use a time window of about two minutes or less. Remember, we're processing our email, not just reading it. If we're not able to accomplish it quickly, then we defer the action until later. We can block time using a calendar item if we know approximately how long it might take to accomplish and when we'd like to schedule the work. Or we can create a task that we can schedule to a future date or simply capture the action as part of a project and schedule it later when we're reviewing our projects. The add-in borrows language from Franklin Covey and creates two types of task lists. A daily task list, which includes all tasks with a due date, and a master task list that includes tasks with no due dates. If it's an action to be performed by someone else, we can delegate it or forward the email and set up a follow-up task. We will cover this topic in much more detail in a later video. Now that you've been introduced to the 5D workflow, let's explore how the organizer tool can help us process our email. Like we did in prior videos, let's imagine that we work for a consulting firm focused on the movie industry. One thing before we get started, the organizer can help you achieve an empty inbox, or as some folks refer to it, zero inbox. By setting the email processing rules, it's possible to automatically move process emails out of the inbox. Here's how it works. <clears throat> you first must select the Septera Organizer tab in Outlook 2010 or in Outlook 2007. Use the Tools Options dialog to get to the, to the Septera Organizer tab. By clicking on the Options button, the Organizer's Options dialog will appear. The options we're most interested in are under the Email Events. Simply click on the Email Options button to modify the processing rules. Let's look at the Move Mail rules. My personal preference is to move mail the first time I touch it, so I use the Move Mail on all events. However, if you have a different style, you can select specific events to move mail or not move mail at all. If you select moving the mail after an action, you must pick where you'd like to move it. My preference, again, is to use an archived folder that I can search later if I need to. It could just as easily be the deleted items folder so the emails get deleted once they're processed. Alternatively, if you're a big Outlook folder person, you can set up the rules to move the mail to an associated Outlook folder after processing. Recall from an earlier video that we can associate an Outlook folder with a specific project. I see I have the option set the way I like, so let's go process our first message. Starting at the bottom, I see my good friend Amber has asked me to pick up some paint for her son's room. I want to defer this email to a task. I'm going to assign this task to my personal projects. And since I'm going to be out and about while I do this, I'm going to assign it to my errand focus. Recalling that we set up for the email to move once it's been processed, you'll notice Amber's message is no longer in the inbox. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, the next one is, I see a form that I'm working on with a colleague has been updated and I'll need to review the changes. I'm going to defer this email to a calendar item that I can work on tomorrow. I'm going to assign that to the MGM Studios. And there's my appointment. It's going to work on that tomorrow and I think I'm going to take it about a half an hour to get that done. Again, notice the message moved out of the inbox. It looks like Roy from Disney Studios has sent me a message about advertisement videos. I'm going to respond directly to this and ask my assistant to work with Roy to get something on my calendar. Roy, thanks for the note. I'm looping in 
my assistant Lisa to get something calendared for us both. See you soon, Chris. Well, let me hook up Lisa here and pop that off. And since I want to go for zero inbox, I'm going to go ahead and move that out of my inbox and into my archive folder. Let's see what's next here. Ah, here we go. Ever since I went camping with my good friend Chris, he keeps sending me these Kelty messages. I think it's his way of telling me I need to update my equipment. I think I'll just delete this message and move on. I'm going to need to give him a hard time about this next time we hook up for a beer. And notice that it's been deleted and it's no longer in the inbox. We've learned about the 5D method and spent some time processing our inbox with the goal of getting to zero messages. I promise, once you get into this habit, you'll wonder how you did it any other way. In the next video, we'll cover delegating an email and using Outlook folders, Windows folders, or the journal for capturing reference information. You can also read about how to use the organizer in the Getting Started Guide, which can be found on the organizer product page in the documentation section. Go to www.subterra.com slash products slash organizer. Thanks for your attention. I hope you found the, find the add-in helpful.